LEGO Mindstorms with Tetrix features heavy-duty aluminum construction elements along with powerful drive motors to expand the capabilities of Mindstorms NXT to create more sophisticated robots. In this video, we'll learn how to use LabVIEW to program this Ranger robot built with Tetrix. It expands the capabilities of the NXT by adding DC motor controllers, servo controllers, and a more powerful battery. In this case, we have two motors on the front wheels that connect to the DC motor controller, which connects to port three of the NXT. Let's see how we can visualize this configuration from LabVIEW. We've already created a new robot project and connected to the NXT. Let's go ahead and open the schematic editor. On port three, let's select the DC motor controller. Your schematic now expands so you can specify the actual DC motors that are connected. Let's select the DC motor for both port one and name it left wheel and port two and name it right wheel. Let's test these motors to make sure they run in the correct direction. Select left wheel and click go to test your motors. Notice it turns the left wheel backwards, so let's check the reverse box. If we hit go again, you'll see the motor now moves in the right direction. Now let's see how you can use LabVIEW to program the Tetrix robot. We'll create a simple VI to move the robot with a knob control on the front panel. Let's create a new VI for computer target called MoveMe. We'll go to the front panel and create a knob control and set the limits to 100 and negative 100. On the block diagram, let's go to the Tetrix palette and drop the move DC motors function. We'll create a constant to specify the motors we want to move. We want to move both motors at the same time, so we'll expand the constant. Let's select left wheel and right wheel. We'll also connect the knob output to the power input for both motors. Let's go ahead and drop a while loop and create a stop button control for the stop condition. To make sure the motors stop, We'll place a stop DC motor function outside the loop and wire the motor constant and pink NXT wire to it. Now let's run the robot. Now let's see how we can drive the robot with a game controller and display text on the NXT display when a button is pressed. Select Remote Control and create a new configuration called Tank Drive. On Configure Robot Drive, we'll select Tank and specify the left and right wheels. This will allow you to control the left and right wheels with both joysticks. Let's select Configure Robot Actions. Let's click on button 2 and select Advanced Sub-VI. This tells the robot to run some code when button 2 is pressed. We'll select New and call it Say Hello. Let's open the VI. On the block diagram, We'll drop the display control and connect it with a hello world string constant. Let's save and close to return to the remote control editor. Select run program, pick the controller and click start test.